Blade 6 is finally here. It's a board that has been eagerly anticipated, and I'll be honest, I've been equally as giddy as the rest of you awaiting its arrival. With the previous success of the Blade 5 dartboard being arguably the best home board due to its durability, the Blade 6 has a lot to live up to, so let's see what Winmore have in store for us. Winmore have kindly sent me this Blade 6 Carbon, which is the high-end version of the three available boards, the Blade 6, the Blade 6 Dual Core and the Blade 6 Triple Core Carbon. Let's get inside have a look. So here it is and it does look pretty right from the off. There are a few scuffs and imperfections I can see straight away but it's the striking colours and cleanness of this board that really take my eye. I thought this ring might be plastic but I was about to say no but it's actually very thin and metal. It's either silver or grey not quite sure but it's very tasty. There's a liquid leveller provided to make sure your dartboard is central, which is a nice touch, and a bag with all of your brackets and screws, and importantly your rotor locks, which help level and secure the board to the wall. I do like the rotor lock system, but I think they should provide rubber caps instead of the hard plastic that you have when you unscrew them. This can dampen the sound on any internal wall, but maybe that's something they can provide in the future. Let's get up close and personal now. You can see a couple of scratches that may even wipe off with a little bit of water here, so I'm not too fussed. You then have the carbon text written in this premium looking silver, which makes me feel that it is a premium product. The HD numbering was essential for the next edition of the blade boards, but sadly it's only provided on the carbon edition. At the time of reviewing, I'm unsure if the ring will be available as a separate item, so you may have to get the carbon first and then decide if you always want to use carbons or blade sixes or dual cores and simply replace the number ring. There's a small sizal biscuit crack in the bull and a little glue, but nothing that's going to worry me for using it as a target. And I think some people forget that. It's going to be used for throwing sharp objects against, so I wouldn't really get too het up on it. One of the things I do notice is that the carbon is written in silver, you've got triple core here with red and silver, but then when we go to the blade text and when we're at the top, it's in the same sort of colour that we've got in the um, white or sort of off cream colour. Would have been nice to have that in grey I think, just to sort of finish off the look and make it look a little bit more differentiated between the blade 6 and the blade 6 dual core. It's very pretty though and the sizal on a blade just looks better than most of the other brands. Having said that, you can see a couple more indents on the creamy sections of the board, and on closer inspection, we can see a couple of colour bleeds or misaligned wires here, which just takes away from the final finish, but it's so minimal that you only notice it when you get up this close. What's more important is the sizal biscuit lines, or lack thereof. That's what I love about the Unicorn board, and it looks like the Blade 6 Carbon is better than ever for that smoother, richer colour finish and look. The board out of the box looks great, so it's a thumbs up for me. Now you're probably wondering why it's called Carbon. Well that's where the triple core comes in. The outer layer of sizal is a low compression zone, reducing surface resistance and increasing point penetration. The dual core element then adds a higher compression which increases resistance, absorbing the kinetic energy of the dart and improving durability. The final layer is carbon fibre, protecting the base layer and adding to the sizal for ultimate durability and triple core technology. All of this is pressed together with an improved blade spider wire which is a 60 degree angle for higher scoring and reduced bounce outs, 25% thinner and hardened bullseye and 25 rings, 
finished um, with a much more flush wiring across the board. I've said time and time again, if the blade can improve its finish, have a more flush wiring system, and add an HD numbering, they will have the best home board. It's starting to look like they've listened, but there is a small negative. This board is not cheap compared to the alternatives. At $74.95, you are paying a premium for that carbon and laser HD numbering. The alternative dual core is $59.95, and the Blade 6 is $46.95. I previously had a Blade 5 and a Blade 5 dual core, and the Blade 5 actually lasted longer, strangely, and I can see many people opting for the Blade 6 for the improved wires alone. Winmore, it has to be said, seems to have the best sizal on the market. They just last. A few throws using MVG's newest exact 21.5 darts to christen the board. The board has such an appealing sound that's cushioned, and when I push the darts into the board, I can genuinely feel the three layers of penetration. <laughs> That's what she said. Oi oi! But seriously, the board looks and feels great, and you can't deny it. Having seen the target Aspar, I would have loved that principle applied to this board, making it easy to rotate. But the carbon bits on each side sort of add a bit more of a rotation element. Although the Win Mao and Blade 6 will only look right when they're on the 20 or the 3 segments, and reasonable on the 11 and the 6. The main elements for me with a home board are durability and wear. Or should I say aesthetic wear. For me, the healing of many boards is often better than it looks. But some boards that only do shallow surface printing run the risk of holes showing a different colour, and therefore looking worse at healing. The Blade 6 has some of the best, deepest colour penetration in each segment, so that holes appear the same colour as the surface level. The sizal also appears to wear much better, and could be down to the quality of the sizal, or how it's packed as biscuits, or indeed compacted by the blade wiring system. The secret we will never know. What I can tell you is that the wear on this board is better than any others I've tested. Being a much better aim now, I have actually given the 20 and treble 20 section a good pounding and it's taken it with no issues or real aesthetic wear. The new improved wires are not creating bounce outs, they deflect into the closest segment, and I haven't had any issues with removing my darts either, as sometimes the ring cuts in points get stuck on the wiring when removing. The new angled wires appear to have improved that and given more sizal impact than wire, which is another plus. Here you can see a few throws using the Onyx Gold Simon Whitlocks, though I don't have his board killer points in them. The board as you can see looks pretty good after the first couple of hours of throws on it, and it's the very thing that makes this such a great home board. Unicorn boards look great out of the package, but they wear badly aesthetically, although I haven't used the Ultra yet, so we could see. But that's why they're used on TV. They look good for long enough in a match, and then they're replaced. For a home board, durability is king. And with the new blades looking so sharp, I'm sure it's not long before they'll be on our screens again. So what do I think of this board? In all honesty, I love it. It's soft, but it's durable. It's flush, it's bright, it's HD. It's a pleasure to throw on. The sticking point, of course, will be the price for some. But that's why Winmore have offered the range of boards, from the Blade 6, to the Dual Core, to the Top End Carbon. I must say, I love the fact I've got the carbon fibre in my board, and even though you can't see it, it's also on the back. I do however think that the quality of the Blade 6 will be enough for most people, and it will be those who want the fancy carbon edition or carbon numbering to add to their board that will purchase this particular board. However, I also subscribe to this notion. A board that lasts a year at £75 means it costs you £1.44 a week. That's absolutely nothing. My last Blade 5 lasted me two years and even then I only changed as a fancy to change. So you'll easily get your money's worth with this board. And to be honest, I think it will create a bit of envy amongst your friends if you do have one. If Winmore are listening though, I have a couple of suggestions. Make the Blade and Winmore text on the board the same silver as the Carbon. It would make it more premium looking and differentiated from the other two. There are also a tiny few imperfections that we see a little bit less with the unicorn boards, so there's a small improvement to be made there, but otherwise, well done guys. 
I've had 27 messages since posting on social media that I have a Winmore package, with everyone suspecting it's a Blade 6 and saying, lucky you. That shows how highly people viewed the Blade 5 and why the Blade 6 will be such a hit. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more from me and the fantastic world of darts. Thanks for watching and remember, love darts.